Hello and welcome to another video. Today I would like to show you how to retrieve data from an API using Python. For this example, we would like to retrieve the data from um, the Swiss National Bank. In fact, we would like to retrieve the latest um, unemployment rate. So this is this number, so you know what we are looking for. I've also already found uh, the API key that we have to use. Um, Oh, sorry, the API link and the API key is um, this part in the middle and our API key that we want to use to access this specific data set is this one. So now we go into our um, PyCharm module and we would like to import requests. We would like to retrieve the data and the data is retrieved by um, requests.get and then we would like to retrieve the data as text. So as I've shown you, we are going to copy the address into here and we are exchanging the API key with the actual part that we would like to retrieve. And just to check if everything works, we would like to print the response. As you can see, we got the whole table now. However, it is not formatted in the way that we would like to have it in the end. We only want to have this part, so this number actually, and thus we need to do a bit of formatting here. So let's say the next variable is data text and we would like to retrieve the string of data but in this case we would like to split the lines because everything is separated by lines um, we would like to retrieve the information just in one line and then from the list we would like to pick the specific line or the specific part of the list that is um, filled with our information so this is the one, two, three, four, five, sixth line. So what we are going to do is we are going to split split lines just with self. And then we want to retrieve the sixth part of the list. Let's see if this works. Whoops. Of course, I would then also have to whoops, print this variable. So as you can see, we have now just the part that um, inherits our information, but it is not quite a list yet. It is just a line and it is still delimited by semicolons. So what we are going to do is we are going to, nope, we are going to split the information and we are going to split it by semicolons. So we have now a list that has three parts and we would like to retrieve the third part. And as you know, Python is counting uh, from zero and therefore to get the rate, we want the flops, to click here. Um, we want to get the third part of the list, so two. Um, well, where's the mistake? Should be fine. Okay, let's print uh, the rate and see if it works. Okay, right now we see that um, the part of the list still has the quotation marks in it and therefore we have to delete the quotation marks in order to make this text part a float. And we do that by calling replace and we would like to replace the quotation mark with just nothing. Let's see if this works. Whoops, replace, I did a mistake here. Ah, I forgot. Is that correct? Aha, ha. of course we need to then delete that parentheses. And as you can see, now we just have the unemployment rate 
from December 2020, as this is the latest information that we can get from the Swiss National Bank. You can obviously um, use this to retrieve any information from APIs that you want. You have kind of seen the workflow um, that you need to do in order to get around some of the hurdles that you might incur. incur. So for example, that uh, the data is not formatted, formatted rightly or that the data is not at the end of a list, but rather uh, somewhere in the middle. But um, as long as the formatation in itself is always the same. So if the um, unemployment rate is always at the sixth row from the back, um, this will work basically forever. So if this has helped you, um, please consider liking or subscribing. And in any case, have a great week. Bye bye.